and thanks for joining me for part two of Ash vs. the Evil Dead, except I'm on hard mode, and I just have a stump hand with no chainsaw. So, anyway, let's finally get the stairs button pushed and see if we could make anything happen. Alright, technology in this old haunted house that I never expected. Fantastic. Let's see if we can get up here and maybe find something to stick in our hand, like a hook, so I could even be scarier than my ex-wife, which I'm going to call my ex-wife now because she's kind of upset me to the point where I don't trust her at all. All right, here we go. Let's, let's hope Ethan is ambidextrous. Oh wait, no, I lost my left hand. Okay, Scratch that. Fine. Okay, fine. I would be absolutely thrilled in this case if I had this. Aim, attack. Aim, attack. Don't worry, game. I got my FPS knowledge. <laughs> As I try to, like, shake my dead weight into that door. I feel like closing every door behind me because there's nothing I trust, especially with Mia popping out of nowhere when I thought she was a cat. But now Mia is being called my ex-wife because I made my trip all the way out to Dolby, Louisiana to save her. Condemned reminds me of. And she attacked me and stabbed me in the hand. My hand healed because of my powerful seltzer water. And then she chopped it off with the chainsaw. She gave me the old leather face. Uh, and, uh. Nope, she's back. Oh god. Uh, I think I shot her in the cooch. Oh my god! Okay. Reload. Gotta run away while reloading. What? Oh my god. What do I do? Oh. No ladder. I gotta throw on some of that seltzer. You don't understand. And I gotta remember how to block. Uh. I'm sorry, darling. Okay, there's more ammo. There's more ammo, guys. I'm officially gonna die. Bah, 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 bah. Did I do it? That's exactly what I expected to happen from the get-go. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Now, this time I grabbed the ammo early. Because... I'm a smart, brave toaster. And I'm not gonna let Mia... Take me down so easily this time. I learned what to do. I learned how to... Shit, she became Ash. And I have a stump hand. So this is hard mode. Hard mode, evil death. Come on. Shoot you in the cooch again. Absolutely. I have to stop it. I guess it would be best to go for headshots. Oh my god, even the way I reload. Oh, just look at that. I gotta take this chainsaw away from you. Drove all the way out to Dolby. To be treated like this, like a specimen. A little bit of seltzer water clears everything up right into the stump hand. Welcome to the family. Son. You gotta be kidding me! Wait, did I just magically appear next to Mia again? All right, he kicked me right in the face with the size 14s. I'm sure I'm doing good though. I'm sure they're gonna take care of my hand.
My god, this guy is strong. I take it back. No, this guy's the Hulk. We got the Avenger cast just coming in into this game out of nowhere. We had Captain America, we've got the Hulk. Come on. Don't you die on us now? You have work to do. Is that? Oh, they are fixing it. With the stapler? With the staple gun, they're fixing my hands. That's wonderful. That's what I'd expect from the residents of this house. Just rub some dirt on it, boy. Where, Yummy. Where am I? I've been to this restaurant. What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. Dude. Who, who are all you people? Where's Mia? <laughs> Eat it. It's good. Dumb some bitch wouldn't know good if it hit him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now we're twins. Hit boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. Come here, boy. No. No, I'm on a strict diet. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. He's not eating it, Jack. He's not eating it. Get the hell up, Marguerite. I'll for him. Get the hell out of here. You're a son of a bitch. Oh, I can't believe it. He's not eating it. He's not eating it. This was supposed to be a very special feast. I want to speak to a manager. Come on, boy. Oh my god. God damn it. I'll bet it's that cop again. God damn it. Oh, please. Pigs. I'm coming back for you. I'm sure you are. Uh, oh, that's that old lady in the photo, E001. Okay. Um So this reminds me of that old country buffet that I've been to. Oh. I can wiggle. Okay. Just got to get out of these bindings with my newfound left hand. Okay. Am I free? Am I free to walk around or is this group of hillbilly murderers going to just chase me down so I have to be quick? The Unveiled Abyss. I could definitely use some reading material right now. That's exactly what I need. Perfect. Do I have my handgun? Nope. Oh, but I do have a new trendy watch. That's monitoring, not my audio. <laughs> but maybe my heart rate and my stapled hand. Perfect. Looks like a puzzly area. And no matter how much danger I'm in, I'm always going to be checking those drawers. Well, at least their budgeting is on point. Their fiscalness is still about them. Ugh. Disgusting. Look at these dishes. Looks like my college dorm room. Okay, I'm still I'm so on edge right now. I'm imagining something's gonna happen. Great, that's that's locked. Okay. I want to find that handgun again, and I'm pretty sure that one of those guys, or the dude who threw the plate at my head, my twin, possibly has it. Okay. The garage. Oh, I'm glad that there's a subtitle there. That was so hard to read. Fantastic. Oh my god. Can't be removed by hand. So with Resident Evil, um, I do know that there's always been a knife ability. So you could be able to slash and hack your way if you don't have a gun. So hopefully I could find something like that. Everything's locked. Oh my god. Even the windows are barbed wired. And the knife in the mouth that I got, and the stapled hand. I'm not going to die from these hillbillies. I'm going to die from an infection. From a very, very aggressive infection. I have a bad feeling about this corner. Okay. Nope. Oh my god. 
Okay, does he, he doesn't see me. Stay low. Do you have any seltzer water, please? Oh god. Herb. The old Resident Evil herb, not the Marley mer herb. I don't think I I think that would send me into a paranoia beyond description right now. Silverware. Oh, is there a knife? Yeah, but Ethan's not gonna grab it because it's not a game mechanic. Oh my god. Oh, he saw me. He definitely sees me. To slip out before dinner was done. How, how do I? I can't attack him. Just run past him. I know he's swinging. Whatever he's got. That's a shovel. I, oh. Okay, run, run, run. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, he is the Hulk. My god in heaven. He's the R-rated New Age Hulk. Key. Hatch key. Ha oh, hatch key. I'm waiting. Okay. Um, I don't want to investigate all this stuff right now. Is he going to come my way? Or am I am I okay right now? All right, nothing, nothing to worry about. Sweet pig. He's calling me like he wants me to finish some of that grub. But listen, listen, I think I can get around this guy. I think I could be really sneaky because he doesn't seem all that bright. He seems a little bit daft. You know what they say. Once family, always. Hatch key, come on. Is he there? Oh, down the hatch, baby. Come on. Open. Dear Jesus. Unbelievable. I, I did not expect to be able to succeed in that one since, you know, Mia easily chopped me in half. I figured this guy would have no problem with his, his shovel. Somebody's right above me. And it's like a, it's a game. Is he gonna come out here? Antique coin? Okay, maybe I'll find like, um, that wizard machine in Big. Or they'll have a throwback in this game and I'll get to play Resident Evil 1 and I get to use my antique coins on a little arcade machine. Now, do I even want to come back up? Okay, I guess I have to. Oh, there's an automatic mantle mechanic. Oh! Okay, so I figured if I, if I see a cassette player, I'm safe. And the main house map. Alright, so... It looks like the area is... Taking place... Or, the game is taking place... In a small area, but there are multiple houses. So I started off in the guest house... And potentially, now I'm in the main house where they dragged me for that sweet buffet. But I seriously do need to talk to a manager because that was all unsanitary. Chemical fluid. Chem fluid. Herb. More sweet green. And combine items, huh? Okay. So we've got combine item, use item, first aid med. Okay, great. So chem fluid makes some first aid. I can make my own seltzer water. I don't need what's in your fridge. Huh. So I hope I, I hope that this mysterious green box ends up following me because I don't want to come back here every single time for items that I stick in. Okay. So I do I do like how they let you rotate things to check them out if there's any messages or whatnot, but another lock pick. Alright, I got two lockpicks. I'm gonna find some secrets. And I found that super secret lockpick. They really stink. I'm glad that Ethan took the time to smell their socks. He's like being a jester. 
Oh, they stink. You unlocked it. Oh my god. It's like they have a camera in here and they know when the perfect time to scare me with a phone call is. Is it that girl? Let's find out. Hey, Regis and Kelly? You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? What the fuck are they? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. Uh huh, yeah. way out through the main hall. Alright. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. Okay. This whole time I thought I got an Apple Watch. Hell of a girl. Alright, is Big Daddy Hulk around? Do I have anything to fear from Big Daddy Hulk? So if I, yeah, I guess he realized that it just snuck away under his house and he just gave up. Assuming that I will make my way back to him eventually because he knows the layout. He has the blueprints. No need to worry about little old Ethan just making his way around. Oh, okay. Maybe that's a victim. Or the daughter's emo phase. Do we have any more interesting artwork we could take a look at? Well, they look pretty normal here, so I'm guessing they changed somehow. The kid still looks pretty pale and malnourished, so... I'm gonna assume... I, I He's the one that I, I feel like is gonna be brainy and try to kill me with, like, a gun or a trap or something. And I keep seeing these bobbleheads. I'm gonna shoot him. No, don't shoot him. Don't waste the ammo. Huh, okay, so this puzzle looks like we're missing a piece of a horse, or the centaur. So let's see if we can somehow locate this horse puzzle statue, and at the same time not catch, like, sepsis or tetanus or rub any of the- Oh, well, you know what? My arm is stapled now, so it's totally secure. I'm sure nothing can get in. What the hell? I learned from last time. I've learned from last- Where's my mower, he says. I found it. I'll tell you where your mower is Open if you up. let us all live. Well, this guy seems normal. Okay, hey, so it's you. not- Yeah. It's not Mia trying to kill me from the basement. Hey, over here! Oh, it's hey, a cop. Hold on, back up. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? Yeah, oh, me fits no. my look. No. All right, now we got several calls about some missing persons late. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. I calm down. Look, look at my You're arm, man. listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right, let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, We've had several missing persons call. And I can't rule out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved. All right. I'll tell you whatever you want. All right. Now that's more like it. Look at this now, Louis Vuitton in these shoes. Wrong. We'll talk later. Hey, wait. You gotta give me your gun. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. Look, officer. Yeah, deputy. Right. Deputy. Now, do you want to see my name in the obituaries? Or do you want to be a hero and save my life? Well spoken. A fucking pocket knife? Oh. Take it. That's all you're gonna get. I knew it. Now go. Garage. Now. Oh yeah, this is good. What am I gonna do with a knife? A lot more than I was doing with just the stump hand and running away from the guy with the shovel. All right, so... Oh, I accidentally just cell sered myself. Okay. All right, I like this. I got all the ammo. Maybe I could just, you know, bite off the shells, take all the gunpowder, make like little fire traps. All right, let's recheck this hole because I have a feeling I could use this knife on a box. Come on, Ethan, reach for it. 
I know you can destroy this very strong box because it has yellow tape wrapped around it. Alright, Bobblehead, you're up. Boom. No more... freaking out. No more bobbling. No more Michael J. Foxing all over the place giving me the willies with that plastic wrangling. Oh, and there was another bobblehead over here. I'm gonna take care of that guy too. I'm gonna be the bobblehead serial killer. The whole Baker family will fear me. And their bobblehead collection will be mine. Yeah. Nope. I'm not a very good serial killer of the bobbles. Alright, so I checked everything out that I could. Like I said, I am extraordinarily meticulous about finding useful goodies. Especially in a horror game, when I feel like all of my inventory is going to go fast. So we're going to head down to the garage and hopefully this cop is uh, actually going to help me out. That would be wonderful. But hey, you know, I found my wife fast and we saw how that turned out. War of the Roses. Okay. Why keep this so hidden? Does this dude have like a secret entrance to this garage? He just tapes up his, his electrical button. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Now first, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try me. Hey, put that door back. Put that door back up. Wait! Oh my god. Oh, my only solace. He's gone. No! I'm playing? Oh god. Oh. Gotta aim for the head. Oh my dear god. Oh! I'm really, really bad at this. In case you haven't noticed. Car keys. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna drive right out of here. I'm really good at driving in this game. Oh yeah, you're mine now. Ooh. This is how- this is exactly what I want to do in Rush Hour. Where'd he go? My vision is impaired. What do I do? What? What's going on? What? This is not safe. Come on, dude, fly out. I know you're not wearing a seatbelt. I've seen the commercials. Okay. Let's finish this, you and I. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take you for a ride. No, 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 no! Oh. I survived that? I am not. I shouldn't be surprised. I've, I've survived so much. Ethan's gotta be a superhuman, too. Oh. Well. Okay, I've got this gun. I feel much better again. Until... Oh, yeah. But he's moving. Hulk is moving. Oh, boy! Now... I gotta get that headshot. As much as possible. My god, even the car's trying to kill me. This house is out to get me. Worst haunted house I've ever been in. Uh, I saw a zombie land and I feel like double tapping this guy, but I've hit him like umpteen times, like a Google amount, and uh, the dude just won't die. Do I just save the ammo and run? But first, all right, first, first. I want to check the garage. Chem fluid. Definitely gonna need some seltzer. Some healing factor, LaCroix. There it is. I don't even need to make it. I could hold on to that. 
And more? Yeah, alright. Good job, Ethan. You couldn't reach that box in the basement, but don't let any metal rebars get in your way. Whoa! Do I have your attention, boy? You're about to see some more. I keep pulling the trigger. Fuck! Uh, I just started hitting right trigger ASAP when he put the gun under his chin. So, you're about to see something interesting, boy. So, I'm guessing he wanted me to see that. This dude is definitely not dead. After all I saw him go through, he's an American gladiator. He's juicing. Somebody, somebody test him with the wellness policy. I definitely want a shotgun. How useful that would be. Ooh! Oh, I get to actually take out the little screw. I feel invested. I get to do all these little puzzly actions. Ox. And I feel stupid because I said horse. Oh. Maybe just bring it. Oh, nope. You can't bring it over and drop it on Jack. Okay. So that was his secret garage entrance. Uh, let's go put Oxy in his new home. Alright. So let's put the centaur back together. And see what's behind this door. But I'm ready for it. Oh. That's where I wanted to hit A to open the door. Music's too ominous. It's too chilling. And nobody's here to share it with me. Except a bobblehead. Where are- there you are. Shoot me! I make my own rules, Bobblehead. Alright, so we got... Quick switch. Ah! I wonder if any of these little tidbits that I'm reading are important. Like, if there's anything I have to remember number-wise. Gunpowder. I feel- alright, I can make my own bullets. Which I feel like are scarce. And another arcade coin. Oh, dears. God. I was about to say don't ring. And it read my mind. I gotta disconnect from the matrix of this game. It feels my stress. Hello? Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he... he he's, a, he's dead now. <laughs> you just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. So maybe... Okay, maybe he is dead. But I wouldn't count my chickens on that one, because I saw the dude get shot in the head a bunch of times, get burned, get impaled by a, by a piece of metal in that car, and just kept on kicking. Oh, mother load. Excuse me, Mr. Statue, but this is now property of Ethan Zombie Slayer. What? Okay, so I figured out that this mechanic is weight operated. So I definitely... Uh, I can't take this yet unless I find a way to jam that... Jam this stupid door. Okay. So there's a lot of options that I have right now. And for this area, it looks like something goes here and opens something. Can I offer it a coin? Huh. So, with the white picture of the eagle, unless I find like 30 coins and kind of put them together the right way, I'm probably going to have to find something that looks like an eagle. Give me the most American thing in here. Give me a cheeseburger and some shotgun shells. I'll make an eagle. Okay. Clock pendulum. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this pendulum back to the grandfather clock I found in near the kitchen area where I was having my my lovely brunch with my new friends and see if anything happens. Alright, so let's let's do this together. Let's Pimp this clock. Oh! The white dog's head. Definitely a puzzle piece. But that 
clock just accepted that offering like nothing I've ever seen before. The clock just sucked up that pendulum. Alright, so we got that sweet dog's head. And we got a triple headed dog here. And it fits. If it fits, I shits. Because I, I thought something would pop out at me. Alright, so keep a, keep a lookout for some doggy heads, guys. Artificial. Alrighty. I don't know why I'm, I'm kind of got- oh my. Oh my. Oh. I feel like she's seen me. Or er, Grandma. Grandma's back. Hi, Grandma. Uh... I can't even aim the gun at her, and I felt like this poor- this poor old woman, but I don't trust her. But I felt like I was just gonna take a shot at her and see what happened, but... Her creepy Mona Lisa eyes just following me. Unreal. This- this game really gives off a good, chilling and creepy vibe. It's not always jump scares, and the jump scares get me no matter what. But this game just gives off such an unsettling feeling. And I love it. Evelyn. And funny enough, so earlier when I was taking a peek around, before we popped down into the garage, Evelyn, I found a boot. And I was so excited. I thought maybe there'd be another lockpick in that boot. Nah, just Evelyn's handwriting. Nothing to open this door right now. Uh, I feel so much more brazen with this gun, but it's definitely ill-gotten brazen and power because I'm definitely not that great with it. No matter how many times I shoot somebody, it's like a freaking BB. Uh, no match for my BB gun. And I'm really worried about wasting ammo. Ooh. Oh, please don't come in the house, lady. I'm just- I just got over your husband's attack with the shovel. Like, my heart rate just settled back down. So just- just stay down there. And we'll all be good. Alright, handgun bullets. And I still have that extra lock pick. I thought I had an extra lock pick. Great. Well, that's great. The game is uh just toying with me. Pick up some more chem fluid. And maybe we can use that chem fluid with the gunpowder and somehow Somehow make bullets without metal. I'm just hoping. Because the video game logic would be fine with me right now. Just to make it a little bit easier on me so I don't go into cardiac arrest. Alright, I'll take as much ammo as you're willing to give me, game. If you have an armory somewhere, that would be wonderful. Gross. Okay. Hmm. 99% sure something bad will happen to me. But you know what they say, when in Louisiana, they don't say that. But I'm gonna use that as an analogy for anything now, after the horror and shit I've been through. A wooden statue. Okay, this is... Maybe this has something to do with it. My shadow reminded me of that eagle from before. Oh no, oh my god. I knew it. Sure shit beats the hell out of dying. Oh, and he doesn't have a shovel. My he has some girl has given us a gift. roller pin with and this with spikes, like a Hellraiser head. As you can see, the family is the only part. Oh, if I could get him to swing, and then I I just run really fast. It looks like his swing is really slow. Oh my God, I'm becoming John Wick. 
But if I have to fight this guy one more time, I'm gonna lose my mind. Because I'll tell you what, I think this guy took about 45 of my freaking bullets. So, all that for a statue. Boss fight number two, I guess, part three or four. And just marijuana to show for it. Alrighty. Oh, another VHS tape. I don't have enough space for it. Alright, so let's run back to that green room. Alright, so I wanted to run back to the storage room because I think I want to grab that videotape and I don't have enough storage space yet and hopefully there's a way to upgrade that because I'm sure there's a lot of random things that I'm gonna find that I want to pick up and I don't want to keep making this trip and I thought maybe that lock pick would be in here Alright guys, I think that's a great place to end this episode. Thank you so much for checking out part two. If you haven't seen part one, go watch it. Go get even more scared. But something I want to ask you guys in the comment section below, let me know your scariest boss fight you've ever had in a horror game. Because these ones are doing it for me. They definitely get me all riled up and I might have a panic attack, so stay tuned for that. Also guys, subscribe, leave me your comments, let me know what you think, and stay with me on this journey. I love it, and I love bringing this content out to you guys. Until next time, bye-bye.